Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to make this noble lady sea beads bracelet. Remember to subscribe with the bell for more tutorials like this one and matching earrings are coming, that is why it's a good idea to do this. Also like, share and comment, in this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue with it. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share the beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads, iris, golden and white. Here I'm also using a toggle clasp. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use similar size 12 or 10, but the smaller sizes are easier to work with and these are scissors and now i'm going to start with about an arm span of thread on my needle and when it's over i will show you how to add more thread and we will continue okay guys and i'm going to start my work by picking up four of those beautiful iris beads and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle here in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made. In this way I make surgeon's knot or also called half hitch knot. And uh, what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Then I take here my needle and I go in the next bit and when I pull and fix my work this is what I have I have this beautiful cross of four beads take one white bead go in the next iris again and do this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, guys, I'm going in this white bead, take three golden beads and go back through this white. Then take two white beads and go in the next white. Three golden beads again. Go in the following white. Back in circle. You see I have a loop between this white and these three beads. Two white beads go in the next white three golden go backwards through this white two white beads again three goldens again And the last two white beads and when I take them I go again in this white from the previous row. So when I pull and fix it I have this beautiful element. After that I go in these two white beads, take just one golden bead 
go back in circle through these two white beads like this then I want to reach my next two white beads go in this direction okay exit like this one golden and go back through these two white beads like this then aim for the next two white beads one golden bead go backwards like this exit here again at these two white beads and repeat this okay now this is the element this is the constructive element of my bracelet the whole bracelet will consist of two rows of those elements so i did the first one and i want to make a neighbor one one next to it but i will make the same the same element but i'll start the other way around okay i'll show you what i'm doing i'm taking two white beads i go back through this golden like this then I go through these two white and after that I take just one iris bead then go back again through these two white you see you're exiting out of the whites with one iris you go backwards through them okay I have this then go through the iris here take three iris beads and white three because here i already have one and when i go back through it i have the same cross of four here in the center as i did here then what i want to do is to reinforce this cross of four beads then i will continue the same way as i did before when i was making this one i continue with four white beads in between these iris beads like i started before then i go here in this white and i will start adding golden beads like i did before go back through this white like this take two white beads and go in the next white it is absolutely the same thing I was showing you before three goldens and two whites okay three golden two white beads three golden and two white beads again three golden and here guys 
You see, I'm not going to be adding two white beads because I already have them here. I added them in the beginning when I was starting my element. So what I do is that I just go through them. Like this. Then through the following whites okay and now if you remember here I added golden beads around the edge Okay, my friends, now I have two absolutely the same elements next to each other and I'm going to take here one iris bead and I'm going here in the next one, in the next two. And then I take six iris beads, you see six of those, and I'm going back in circle through the previous two and golden and through the iris here okay and here guys what i created is a loop i'm going back in circle through it like this Okay, now my friends, what I want to do is to cut here this tail thread that I have. And I will continue making more and more elements. In order to do this, I will exit here out of this golden bead. And from here on guys I'm going to start another element absolutely the same way that I showed you okay I add two go backwards like this now I will show it a little bit faster and with less explanation because I think you got it the first time but still I will show it so you could understand it.
okay guys and now this element is ready and what I want to do is go here in the next golden bit and I want to make another element like this one okay I'll do this faster showing you through the steps <laughs> And here is a tricky part guys that I wanted to show you and stress on it. Uh, it is that when I go through these two I don't add another golden because I'm using this golden from the previous element to attach it here. Then what I do is that I reinforce this joint here then I will continue the same way adding the other goldens mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the last golden that I'm adding here. Now, what I want to do is to go back at this part. And I want to connect here these four golden beads that meet. So you see that one that is sticking out. I'm going through it and through the neighbor one that is sticking out. Then I take another. Go in the next golden. Another one. Go in the next golden. And another one. Okay, my friends, and I'm going to reinforce this. And now, guys, my thread is almost over. It's not enough for another element. That is why I'm going to cut it and add a new thread. And how I do this, I will make here a loop. I will go twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. I'm going here in the neighbor bit or in the neighbor few bits. And after that, I cut my thread. 
Now I'm going to take another arm span of thread on my needle and I'll back to tell you how to continue. Okay guys, and I took another long thread on my needle. And what I want to do is to attach it here. That is why I'm going through one of my beads. I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling, going in the next dark bead, then in these two. And now I'm exiting here at this point where I could continue with my work absolutely the same way that I've been showing you these steps here. Repeat them until the end and when you have a desired length, for me it's 14 elements in one row, 28 in total and I'll be back Okay guys, and as I continued beading and adding more and more elements, here I am at this part of my bracelet. And what I want to do next is absolutely the same thing as I did here in this point. So uh, if you don't remember, just rewind the video, see how I'm doing this and repeat it absolutely the same thing from this side. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and I have this part of my bracelet ready. And uh, now, what I want to do is go in this direction. Okay, and exit here out of this golden bead. And I take just one iris, okay, and I'm just filling this gap. Then I will continue in this direction. Don't pull it too tight, just place it gently. Take another one, put it here. Okay, I'll show you one more time and I'll let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, meet you here at the other side. And here I am guys at my last step where I'm adding my last iris bead from this row. Now what I want to do is go through all of those beads. Because I want to transfer at the other side of my bracelet. And now if it's difficult for you, you could help yourself with your pliers. Okay, and I think you know what's coming up next. I'm here to fill in the gaps between those beads. Okay, and I will continue adding more and more beads until the end. And when I'm, I am at this part, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, friends, and I'm here where I'm just adding my last bead from this row. Now I will make some knots and cut my thread. And after that, I'll be back. 
Okay, friends, and now I finally got to the last part of my tutorial where I'm showing you how to attach your jump ring and your clasp. Okay, how I do this, I open up this jump ring. I put it here. I put also my clasp. And I squeeze back in the same way as I opened the jump ring. And I have this. I'll do this from the other side and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So now my Noble Lady Seed Beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, also a matching earrings of this bracelet, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell if you still haven't. You might also want to support me by liking, sharing and commenting. And this is a great and amazing help, guys, from you. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And if you like my work and appreciate the efforts I make, you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.